Jason! I'm Anita Webster. I look after communications for the Concord Pacific Dragon Boat Festival. We're kicking off this year's event, the 29th year, with a blessing ceremony to cleanse the course, speed the dragon boats. The races themselves start in a couple of weeks. June 23rd is when it all gets going with some special races, a full day of all access racing. We're welcoming all kinds of different groups into our midst uh, this year, um, as we have been gradually over the years, but we're going to have a special day on Friday the 23rd. Lots to watch, music, activity, um, support that you can give to these teams that are uh, challenged in a variety of ways. The Dragon Boat Festival itself gets underway the next day on Saturday, June 24th, and that's going to be action-packed as always. Music, paddling, food, lots to see and do, and uh, it's a free event. It's great for visitors, it's great for the family, it's great for Vancouverites and people in the area that just come on down and, and join us this 29th year. Uh, I am Terry Gong 将会一个很好的家庭的event。Well, this uh, Dragon Boat Festival is a tremendous asset for the city of Vancouver. It provides access to the water for so many of our own residents and, in, and attracts so many international tourists as well. The economic generation that is uh, derived from this event is uh, immeasurable in that, in, in that we have so many international visitors, we have international teams coming, and their friends and family uh, attend as well. Internationally, we have a reputation as a, a green city, and this is part and parcel of that. And so we support it as part of our, our initiatives for uh, a host city. Uh, we partner with uh, many uh, other organizations private sector and government to make this happen and you know this uh, serves uh, so many people from young people to uh, all, all ages and up to seniors but people with disabilities as well it's a free family event and this is part of the reason why the city of Vancouver is so supportive